Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. This is the series where I like to show you tips, tricks, and tutorials, and of course, I like to do this in complete survival. In today's video, we are doing a little bit of work on the Illegals Museum. Specifically, though, I'm going to be showing you how I got the Lava Nether Portal, and also the water nether portal now i already had this snow one in the center but i just thought you know what i may as well get all three of them and have them down here i think it looks super super awesome i've got a little bit more of the decor sorted out as well as well as let me just show you this very quickly so i have this side and then i also have the opposite side which is exactly the same and i've also nearly done the decor in here as well so i've just got to do the ceiling and then i can have something else in here as well as that, though, I've also added these little rooms, which I think are going to have illegals in. So I'm going to have a room here. I'm going to have a room that side. And then maybe a room this side or a tunnel. Like uh, I've got a tunnel on the other side. Going to my uh, little illegals base. What I'm going to do right now, as I said, I'm going to show you the process. How I got the water nether portal and the lava nether portal. Now, this is a reasonably long process. Purely for the fact that this does not work every single time. So, I had to do it multiple times. So, what I'm going to do is just show you the successful clips. Oh, yeah. I should also mention... The fact that they're not even flowing and they're just sitting there like that. I probably should have mentioned that sooner. But I also used a little trick to get those to actually work like that. And not everybody can actually do that trick. So uh, basically, I'll tell you the trick first before we get into the video. But uh, you'll see the trick as well. Oh, here they are in my inventory. Basically, if you have the nether portal blocks, you can make uh, non-flowing lava and water. So, I used the nether portal blocks for that part. Again, you'll see that at the uh, towards the end of the video. However, not everyone's going to be able to do that. So, uh, if you do want to do something like this, I would suggest using, like, glass, the same colored glass or something like that. However, there will be still quite a few people who have these from previous updates. Anyway, with that being said, let's jump straight on into the process. Alright, so we are going to do the lava portal first. We're going to go ahead and light it. I'm using the same redstone system as I did in this video right here. I actually did a tutorial on it in this video. And yeah, I'm just going to show you the process in uh, the video that we're doing right now. But it's exactly the same redstone setup as the snow one. Uh, basically, I've set it up twice, one for the water, one for the lava. You can see right there, I'm getting perfectly lined up. And then I'm going through the nether portal. At this point, I'm uh, going to go back through a portal that I know is reasonably close to my museum. So I'm just going up here, and we will have to go through the tunnels at the top. And I already have a portal set up, so I'm making my way over there right now. And you can see on this occasion that I'm actually able to get the lava portal. However, like I said, this process doesn't work every single time. I did have to do this a fair few times to get this outcome. So you're going to see me come out on a portal that's above my museum. You do have to come out on a portal that's 60 blocks away for this process to work. So I believe that's around 60 blocks away. I don't know. It just worked last time for the snow one. So I thought if it worked, don't change it leave the portal exactly where it is you know what i mean and uh yeah make my way down here and you can see that i successfully have a lava nether portal right now i get super excited as you can see it's super nice now all i've got to do is basically uh make it so it don't flow anymore that way we can have it freestanding rather than with the glass so now after i've got the lava portal I, uh, of course, need to get the water portal. It's exactly the same process. Again, I tried this many times, but it didn't work. You can see I was just setting it up from a previous time that it didn't work. I'm, again, going to uh, line myself up like this. I'm going to get perfectly aligned and stand on the pressure plate and go through the portal at the same time. Again, we're going to come out of the exact same nether portal and I'm going to make my way to the other nether portal that I did last time. So we've got to go through the nether tunnels at the top. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Basically exactly the same process for the water. Again, I didn't do this first time. I would have loved it if I did. It took so long to do the water one for some reason. I have no idea why. It was really difficult. The lava one, I got reasonably quick, quickly 
Uh, it wasn't first time, but I did get reasonably quickly. But the water one, damn, it took so, so long. So uh, you can see here, we're coming back through the nether portal now and heading back down to the basement where the portals are. So we will be able to see we have successfully got ourselves a water nether portal this time. And then all we've got to do is basically make it so they do not flow anymore. Which is, uh, I would say, the longest part. But yeah, you can see here, we've got the water nether portal. Again, I get super excited. And there we go. So, next up, we got to stop them from spilling everywhere. And to do that, we are going to be using the nether portal tiles. First of all, of course, I need to remove all of the system from behind it. We're going to do the lava one first. The lava one was a lot easier for me. Um, yeah, I was actually able to do it. I actually had to get a little bit of help for the water one, but we'll come to that very, very shortly. Uh, but yeah, for now, basically, I realized that we had to take off the top first. So that's exactly what I did. Took off the top. And basically, every time I brought a block down, I had to do it each side. So you can see here, I've put one each side, and then I've got to do one this side. And then I've got to bring it down all the way like that. So if I do one side, I've got to do the other side. And I've got to continuously do that all the way down. And that way, um, I actually managed to make it so it didn't flow. However, uh, previous occasions of me trying this, yeah, it was just going everywhere. I had to work out this little system. And, uh, yeah, it worked out pretty nicely. You can see here that uh, we're getting pretty close. I think I'll go around the other side around about now. And uh, basically do the exact same from the other side and bring it down again. So you can see if I put one that side, I put one the other side. And then, of course, I do the obsidian bit. And, uh, yeah, I just rinse, rinse and repeat that process until, of course, my portal is completely empty. And I've got no blocks around the outside. So we're very close here to being finished. I've just got a few more blocks. We've got the front. And, of course, we've got the middles at the top. So I've just done those two. And now we're pretty good to go. We just got to do the bottom bits. And I think right here we have a little bit of a disaster. For some reason, you can see here, you see that? It just started flowing and going crazy. Fortunately enough, I was able to save it. And uh, yeah, I work out a little system in the end. But at first, it's really hard to work out how to do it. I was like, why does it keep flowing? And uh, yeah, you can see here, it just continuously keeps flowing. But eventually... I do actually come up with a system to get it to work. So at first, I was just kind of spam clicking the portals, hoping that it will work. But eventually, I do come up with a little system. So uh, I think after this little bit right here, I continue the system and break that one. And yeah, it starts to be safe. And then uh, I realize, yeah, nice. This is uh, going to work. And we can actually finish this portal now. So we just got the last two blocks and then we can just remove all the portals as well now, which is actually the final thing. And we have a freestanding lava nether portal, which looks super, super epic, I think, anyway. And now we've just got to do the exact same thing to the water. Now, the thing was with the water, I couldn't actually do it. So you can see here, I got my friend Monkey Boy to come and help me. And every time we did a layer on the water one, what we decided to do, as you can see here, is I forced a backup. So if anything was to go wrong, we had a backup every single time. So every layer of the portal, because we really, really didn't want this to uh, go wrong. So uh, you can see here, yeah, Monkey's just placing all of the nether portals on this one. For some reason, every time I did it, it just flowed every single time. So I could not do it. Eventually, Monkey just jumped on and uh, helped me out. So big shout out to him. I'll put his channel in the description below. And as you can see, we're in the middle of another backup. We were so precise about this one. Every single layer, we did a backup right until the bottom. You can see we had a little bit of spillage then. But uh, yeah, he managed to save it, which was pretty nice. And uh, continue the process. So once again, another backup. Every time we do a full layer, we do a full backup, which is pretty nice. And uh, yeah, you've got to be safe, right? And the, the way that we do the backup is just activate the other part of the realm and then reactivate this part. And you should uh, force a backup on your realm, which is pretty nice as well. As you can see, we're pretty close now. We've just got the bottom layers. So we're going to, uh, yeah, remove the obsidian at the front inside, as you can see. Now, if we left this till the end, 
we would have uh, definitely caused some spillage. So it was a good point out there by Monkey Boy. And uh, yeah, we pretty much get it done. I'm just cleaning up at the moment, just around the outside, letting Monkey do his thing. Because for some reason, he is just a lot, lot quicker than me. And now we are on the final layer where we get the full freestanding portal. Again, we've got the uh, backup just in case anything does go wrong. And then we don't have to continue doing it all. So here we go. And then basically, we're just doing the bottom. Well, at least Monkey's doing it. And then we come around here. And then we're back to normal speed now on the video as well. And we have a few more little blocks. So we've got the obsidian left. And boom. There we go. And now all we've got to do is remove the uh, portal blocks. And we have a full freestanding water portal. So I decided to help a little bit at the end. And, uh, you know, take away that portal. We also uh, have to remove the obsidian from each side of the portal. Just so it matches the floor. So I uh, do that little bit as well. Pretty nice. And uh, there we go. That is how I got the lava portal and the water portal and the snow portal. All three were done by the exact same method. And of course, that is how I made them not flow as well. These are definitely some of my favorite illegals in this museum. They just look so, so good. I mean, just look at that lava one. How epic does that look? And, and this water one looks epic as well. In fact, they all just look so good. They actually look kind of fake. That's how good they look. Just look how fake that that looks. How epic is that? But there it is. There's how I got the portals in survival. That's all I've got time for today. I will catch you on the next one.